Hey guys, what is up? My name is Landon and welcome to the Jersey Zone. So the Minnesota Wild just revealed their new 2022 Winter Classic jersey and I absolutely love this thing, man. I think it is so ridiculous when they were tweeting out all those teaser images and everything like that. I think I tweeted out something along the line of like, I'm going to absolutely love this jersey and I was totally right. I am so on board with this thing. It is so stupid, so ridiculous, but I absolutely love it. The only thing about this jersey that I would say I probably don't like is the logo itself, which to be fair is a big part but I also still kind of like it because it's really stupid. So it's like a half wordmark, half logo at the same time. It's supposed to say Minneapolis St. Paul with the Minnesota State in the middle of it and the two stars. I do like the middle part of it. I don't mind the St. Paul at the bottom, but the Minneapolis above that is really, really ridiculous because they had to shorten it and it just looks like it says M please. And I absolutely love it. I think it is so stupid, but also great at the exact same time. The stripe on the chest is a little strange as well, especially because it just stops or it looks like it just stops like right here. It doesn't go all the way around but it kind of is supposed to mimic the stripe at the bottom so it kind of balances it a little bit but it is still really strange I don't mind the two stripes on the arms I like that part for sure but the other part that is ridiculous but I actually really like a lot it's totally stupid and I can totally see people hating it and not enjoying it at all but I absolutely love it is the elbow pads that is great I have never seen that on a jersey and I love it it is so old school and that's kind of the theme of the winter classic jerseys is old school so I I am so down for it. I want this jersey so bad. It's definitely a jersey that I want to get pretty soon here, but I don't want to pay full price for it because if you guys are new, I never pay full price for like any of my jerseys. I hate paying full price for jerseys. I usually wait until they go on sale, but with this jersey here, I wouldn't be surprised, honestly, if it ends up selling out just because of the fact that it's so like different and so unique and everything like that. But at the same time, I wouldn't overly be surprised if it goes on sale just because it is so weird and so different at the same time. So I don't know how well this jersey is going to sell, but I am completely on board. And like I said, I want it pretty soon here because there's been some Winter Classic jerseys that I've missed out on in the past, like that Dallas Stars 2019 Winter Classic. I think it was the 2019 Winter Classic at least, but I really wanted that jersey a lot, but I decided to wait. I didn't want to pay full price for it. I wanted to wait until it went on sale and I never saw it on sale. And now I don't see it anywhere unless it's on eBay and it's usually like over $200 Canadian. So it's really unfortunate with this one here. I'm probably going to try and get it from Bennett Sports. I would think that he would get this jersey. So it would be a little bit less than full price, not a ton less, but just a little bit less. But I'm so excited to see these jerseys in a game. I can't wait to see what the St. Louis Blues do with their jerseys. There's been some rumors about what they're actually going to do, but we'll see if that's the way they actually go or they decide to go a different route. We'll see. But that is going to be it for me. Let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. Do you guys like these jerseys? Do you not? I could definitely see these jerseys being very polarizing. And if you guys like this video, make sure to leave a like and make sure to subscribe to the channel. I do a whole bunch of jersey talk and everything like that. And I try and kind of talk a little bit about the NHL just in general. So if you're new, make sure to hit the subscribe button and also make sure to follow me on my Instagram and my Twitter at the Jersey Zone YT on Instagram and at the Jersey Zone on Twitter. Links are in the description down below. But like I said, that's it for me. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys next time.